Do you know the story about Sam Bass? He was a big figure in the 1800s and was known for good and bad things. Sam Bass was a notorious outlaw who operated in the American Old West during the late 1800s. He was known for his daring robberies and charismatic personality, which made him a folk hero to some and a public enemy to others. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the life and crimes of Sam Bass, examining his criminal career, his legacy, and his lasting impact on popular culture. Early Life Sam Bass was born on July 21, 1851, in Indiana. His family moved to Texas when he was a young boy, and they settled in Denton County. Bass grew up on a farm and worked as a cowboy during his teenage years. However, he was known to be a restless and adventurous person, and he soon became interested in the world of crime. There are a few events that may have influenced Bass's decision to turn to a life of crime. One of the most significant was his involvement in the Civil War. Bass fought for the Confederacy and was captured and imprisoned by Union forces. This experience may have contributed to his disillusionment with authority and his desire to rebel against society. Another significant event was Bass's encounter with a group of outlaws in 1874. He was working as a cowboy in Denton County when he met a group of men who were planning a train robbery. Although Bass didn't participate in the robbery, he was intrigued by the idea and began to associate with the outlaws. This eventually led to his own criminal career. Criminal Life Sam Bass's criminal career began in the mid-1870s and lasted only a few years, but during that time, he became one of the most notorious outlaws in the West. Bass and his gang engaged in a variety of criminal activities, including stagecoach robberies, bank robberies, and train robberies. One of Bass's most famous robberies was the holdup of the Union Pacific Railroad train near Big Springs, Nebraska, in September 1877. Bass and his gang made off with over $60,000 in cash and gold coins, which was one of the largest train robberies in U.S. history at the time. Bass was also involved in several bank robberies, including the robbery of the Williamson County Bank in Round Rock, Texas, in 1878. This robbery resulted in a shootout with law enforcement, during which Bass was wounded and several of his gang members were killed. Bass managed to escape, but he was later captured and brought to trial. He was found guilty and sentenced to 99 years in prison, although he only served a few months before he was pardoned due to his failing health. Throughout his criminal career, Bass had several close calls with the law, but he was known for his quick thinking and daring escapes. For example, after the Williamson County bank robbery, Bass and his gang fled to Denton County, where they were pursued by law enforcement. Bass and his men managed to evade capture by disguising themselves as farmers and blending in with the local population. Overall, Bass's criminal career was short-lived but highly publicized. He became a folk hero to some and a public enemy to others, and his legacy as a daring outlaw has endured in popular culture for over a century. Legacy and Death Sam Bass's legacy has endured long after his death, due in part to the romanticized image of the outlaw in American folklore. While he was certainly a criminal, Bass has been portrayed as a symbol of resistance against the perceived injustices of society, particularly the banks and railroads that were seen as exploiting the common people. Bass's status as a folk hero was cemented by the popular ballad, The Ballad of Sam Bass, which was written in the late 1800s and has been recorded by numerous artists over the years. The ballad depicts Bass as a daring and charming outlaw who defies the law and lives life on his own terms, which has contributed to his enduring popularity in popular culture. However, the reality of Bass's life was far more complicated than the myth that has grown up around him. While he may have had noble intentions at times, he was ultimately a criminal who caused harm to innocent people and engaged in violent behavior. Bass's criminal career came to a violent end in 1878 when he and his gang attempted to rob a bank in Round Rock, Texas. The robbery was thwarted by a group of lawmen, including Texas Ranger Captain Junius Peake, who engaged Bass and his men in a shootout. 
During the gunfight, Bass was shot in the back and mortally wounded. He was taken to a nearby hotel, where he died the following day. His death was widely reported in the newspapers of the time, and it was seen as a victory for law and order over the forces of lawlessness. Despite his criminal actions, Sam Bass has remained a popular figure in American folklore, a symbol of rebellion against the establishment and a reminder of the Wild West era when outlaws like Bass roamed the frontier. There have been several books, movies, and songs inspired by the life and career of Sam Bass, which continue to captivate audiences to this day. In particular, his story has been portrayed in various Western films, including The Great Train Robbery, 1903, The Texas Rangers, 1936, and The Great Northfield Minnesota Raid, 1972. In addition, several songs have been written about Sam Bass, including the classic folk song, Sam Bass, and The Ballad of Sam Bass which have been covered by numerous artists over the years. Overall, Sam Bass remains a prominent figure in the history of the Old West, and his story continues to inspire both fascination and admiration for his outlaw ways. Five Facts About Sam Bass 1. Bass was said to be a Robin Hood-like figure, as he often targeted wealthy businessmen and distributed the stolen money to the poor. Two. Despite his reputation as an outlaw, Bass was known to be a talented musician and often played the fiddle at local saloons. 3. He was arrested several times for his crimes, but managed to escape from jail twice. 4. His body was buried in Texas, but there were rumors that his gang had stolen it and moved it to a secret location. 5. In 1878, a man claiming to be Sam Bass was found in Mexico but it was later determined that he was an imposter. Like and subscribe for more mysteries about outlaws, criminals and mobs.